mga kapalangga. So, good afternoon yung, well, good evening. Yung oras dito is 10 minutes past 7 in the evening. Kagagaling namin sa Tesco ng grocery kami and later on, we will do the my UK driving experience. So, hopefully we can do it. Driving experience. You don't want to go through what I went through. <laughs> I'll tell you later. You will be amazed. So nakauwi na kami galing sa test ko mga palangga at magpapaganda lang ako sa glit. Kasi si Sir John nagtitimpla pa ng kape para naman ma-presentable yung mukha ko mga palangga kasi this past few days, sobrang dami mga breakouts ko. Yung pimple, pimple here, pimple here. Kulang kasi ako sa tulog. What is this? It's a fluff. Come on. Here you are, madam. Thank you. Sit down with me. What about please? You know, this is what I have to put up with, guys. I get bossed and bossed and bossed. All Let's the adjust the camera. You need to adjust it because I've been off head. Oh. There you are. What do you mean, there we are? I can't even see that camera properly. Right, anyway. Cheers, guys. <laughs> Go on. Right, so. okay then. Today, Mia would like me to enlighten you and steer you, haha, uh -huh, steer you, as in learning to drive in the UK. Well, there's many ways you can do it um, and different options, and we did it. I did it the way I wanted to do it um, because to me it was the best way. Yeah, to his. But, but this is my opinion. Okay. Um, right, anyway, basically, uh, one piece of advice if you come into the UK from other countries where you actually drive on the right hand side of the road, not on the left like we do, I would really suggest that you don't have any driving tuition in your country because it will only confuse you very much when you arrive here because we drive on the left, the steering wheel's on the right hand side of the car. So if you're planning on wanting to learn to drive, don't take practice in your country of origin unless you drive on the same side as us then it makes it much easier, especially for yourself and especially for the person who is teaching you to drive. So anyway, w once you've arrived in the UK, you, I think you have to be here for so long um, and then you can apply for a, what they call a provisional driving license. Now you can do that by going on to the DVLA website and um, you can physically fill all the application form in and uh, you've always got to f ask or you know, present, give them everything that they require. I can't remember we had to do proof, did we, of something? I don't know, I can't, I can't remember. Well, what I did when I apply my driving, uh, not driving, provisional license, I have my biometric Ah, yes, by then, yes, yes, so that's the did. one that my proof of identity yes, and that's correct. Yes, yeah, yes. and when we apply for provisional license, we have to pay I think thirty something oh, pounds. It was about thirty pounds yeah, for the provisional. Like that. But I think it only lasts. Was it for two years? Yeah, for two years. Yeah, only two years only. So they say that that technically is enough time for you to learn to drive and take your test. And once you have um, taken your test. Um, and everything, then you can apply for your full UK driving license. But 
Here in the UK, uh, our test consists of two parts. One is the um, theory test. A theory test, yes. Um, mm. But that theory test is in categories. So is it, how many different categories? Two. Two categories, is uh, it? Multiple choice and hazard perception test. Uh, hazard perception, yeah, perception test, that's right. Right, once you've got that, then you started doing your practicing for your theory. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then what we decided to do was to, uh, or I decided was I would get a little car, uh, a manual this is, a manual car, because you see here in the UK, if you pass your test in a manual, you can drive a manual as well as an automatic. But if you pass your test in a automatic, you can only drive automatic, you're not allowed to drive a manual car. So, um, me wasn't very happy about having to learn to drive a manual, but now she can do it. No, I and still stole my car. <laughs> well, everybody stalls a car and what have you, but you know, by the end of the day, you now you can drive either, wow. so you have the freedom. You know you yeah, can just choose. You can choose whatever car. Yeah, we know you want automatic. So anyway, so th that's basically um, uh, what we did. So we got the little car, and then obviously you got to take out insurance for the car, for so she could drive on our uh, highways, and so we. Did that online we shopped around online and got the best deal um because the insurance premium is crazy money mm. um so anyway we did okay we, we we got it affordable and then uh so once we got that then it was time to take to the road well this is where the fun begins you know can can You see, quite often when you learn something, someone something, you only have to tell them once and they learn. But I don't know what it is about driving cars, you can tell them a thousand times and it still doesn't work. And I don't know why. <laughs> have you got any clues? <laughs> Stop the violence. Yeah. So anyway, I taught her the basics of um, you know how to use the clutch, the brakes, and the gas, and you know the the, the, the general principle of control in the car. Um, we just stayed very local to home, uh, and we just off the on the smaller roads out of the way of the busy places, and you know got her going, and you know learning to you know do certain procedures with driving, and finally. Um, we, we, we only actually went out about once a week, didn't we? Well, luckily it's, if it is, yeah, because you're, yeah. you're quite busy at that yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. But, um, to be fair, it didn't take you long to learn, did it, you say? Well, I don't know. I got a lot of shout from him. <laughs> I am deaf now. <laughs> she lied. <laughs> No, no, you shout it's, it's, me a uh, lot, like break, break. Well, the thing is, if you don't shout at someone when they're not doing something, you've got to uh, get their attention t to get them to do yeah, something. Yeah, but I always told you that shouting doesn't help. Ah, oh, but you actually did. <laughs> you stopped us crashing. <laughs> He's so annoying instructor, like, come on, let's do practice. No, I'm not feeling well. No, come on, let's do practice. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah he yeah. really, my husband really pushed me in driving because yeah. I never, like, I never thought of driving a car and, oh my god! <laughs> yeah, but you see, it, it made it much simpler for myself because uh, me had no idea of how to drive a car. She physically doesn't didn't know how a car worked, anything, so it actually made my... Uh, job a little a lot easier
because she didn't think she knew how to drive. She didn't have a clue, which was good. So everything I told her, she had to believe that I was telling the truth, you see, and do it. So you are you lying to me? <laughs> no, do it, do it my way, <laughs> not the way she thinks. <laughs> oh God, yeah. and, oh yeah. God. But anyway, anyway, we, we, we overcame there's certain things she struggled with, uh, hill starts, things like this. So what we do, we just go on to a hill and I would just make it stop, start, stop, <laughs> start horrible. on the hill. Lots and lots of time and continuously do it. And we find steeper hills to do it and steeper just to try it. You know, where she, she, where she had her weaknesses, I would basically really pump it into her. Um, a lot. That's why I got a lot of it's tears. Like, <laughs> re, re, like repetition of doing something, you, you do, you, you get it. It soon comes to you. You constantly keep repeating, repeating, doing the same thing, same thing, and it's just that practice of clutch control and gas, you know. And but once you got all that, that was it. And then, because I I got her to the stage where she could physically drive the car safely control the car within reason and um, she'd obviously done all the studying online and, and what I decided to do was not to use a uh, driving instructor um, local to us we have this um, training centre and they actually it's where within the training centre there's a separate little department which is the um, DV, DVLA, is it DVLA? DVLA, yeah. yeah DVLA. Or something, DVC, whatever. Yeah, for the, um, uh, where you actually physically take your test. Well, this company, basically, they do all the driver training, but I'd done 99.9% .9 of the training. All me had to learn was, was how to pass a test. Because you could physically do everything. So, we took, we booked her in to have an assessment Mm. And anyway, so, so they had the assess she had the assessment and it, it was only a short number of hours she actually needed uh, to be up to scratch to physically take a test and hopefully pass the first time. So anyway, we booked in, uh, it was a couple of months down the line before she could actually get in, so we always kept on doing a bit of driving and stuff and keeping her nice and fresh with it. And then the it was, what, three and a half days driving you had, wasn't it? Yeah, because when I had my assessment, the driving instructor basically said that I just need 12 hours of driving. 12 hours. I think 12 yeah. hours or 14 hours, something yeah. like that. Well, 14 including your test. Well, yeah, yeah. 14 including my test. So mm. I have my, we booked the intense driving lesson. Yeah, yeah. And as what he said, it is like two months down the line before I can take my hmm. test. So we just keep on practicing, yeah, so, shouting, yeah. crying. Oh, yeah, crying. <laughs> and she was so violent to me, I couldn't stop crying some days. Oh God, don't yes. say that. You're so horrible to me when we're driving. No, I was good. I was actually good. There's, there is a saying, you've got to be cruel to be kind sometimes. And that this particular thing, I might have been bossy or bossful as you guys call it and girls, but that bossfulness basically put her in the right position of driving a car to be able to pass a test. Mm. So anyway, came November. Not November, October. Oh sorry, October, <laughs> came October. <laughs> Yeah. And off she goes. I take her down every morning. To How the... much is it for a day? Four hours, isn't well, it? Well, well, basically, I'm going to, I'll get to that in a minute, basically. And then, uh, so we took her down uh, for the next three days uh, to do the driving. And then on the fourth day was the test day. So, um, but they were very adamant that she was that good. Uh, she would pass and I just said well I wouldn't say that because all she has to do is make a couple of mistakes on her test and she's failed doesn't matter how good you are you can still physically make mistakes so I always said don't be overconfident in what you're doing because that's when you goes wrong for yourself so anyway came the test day did the test 
flying colours you pass first time. Mm. Mm. So basically <laughs> um, that was it and what it physically cost us or cost me uh, financially for the driving excluding buying a car and everything but actually just going to after me teaching you to drive and then just physically going to the uh, uh, test center or for the training or the driver training um, cost just over 500 pounds yeah. right so and the way we actually did it was a very cheap way of doing it you see but everybody's not in a position where they can find somebody who has the time and can teach them so the other option is you've got to go with a driving instructor but the downside of driving instructors is they do this for their living, right? You know, and they charge about 25 to 30 pounds per hour. Mm -hmm. We did ring round to see, and, 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 and they're saying you need, could need up to 40 hours, you know, which to me, well, it equates to a lot of money, you see. So this is why I decided well, I would do it the way I did. Um, but if, if you can't do it that way, basically um, you'd have to go with an instructor and it would, could cost you £2,000 plus to do it. Which, if you find somebody who, you know, or your husband or whatever, you know, can teach you, um, that's if they're able to do it would save you a lot of money and you'd be up and driving now and you're enjoying it aren't you now? You no! Can... <laughs> I'm still a terrified driver. She's not. She's very confident now. I've seen her. No. I just have the trouble about this hell start, hell start. Yeah, that's just a thing in your mind though. I don't know, it? I just don't mm. like hill start. I still stole my car and it's so embarrassing. Mostly when there is a car behind me and just like, yeah, oh no, please. Because she's panicking. Instead of just relaxing and just doing what she should do when the training should <laughs> kick in, she panics and flusters because there's somebody behind her flashing the lights, <laughs> picking their arm, get out of the way, whatever. Just ignore them. I know, but you know, it makes you really like get intense you have to do it right and do it right you get pressured pressure pressured you only pressure yourself don't you no mm. but anyway once you pass your test what you have to do then is send all your um oh no actually you, you give your stuff to the uh, test center mm. and they will send everything to the dvla um, and they will then give you you end up getting a full UK driving license. I know you do have to pay for it lasts till you're yeah. 70 is it? I think so. It's 70 yeah, 70 something. years. You have, every 10 years you have to uh, put a new photo. Yeah, so this is my driving license now. Yeah. Look at the photo. Who is a convict? <laughs> Look at the photo there. Convict. Come on. Stop focusing me, eh? Mm -hmm. No, it's there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mm. So, oh god uh, yeah but you can use your driving license id as well you see yeah and cool. also if you have a license from philippines you could physically yeah, drive if, here if, yes if you have a full driving license from the philippines you can physically drive in this country for one year and one day but after that you will have to apply um, for a UK driving test yeah. uh, to be able to continue to drive. So obviously, if you had a Philippines driving license, yes, you could drive while you, you know, with it. But you. Would but what I was wondering, do you need to get the insurance as well? You have to have insurance yeah. on every car. Yeah. Right. Your car must be have, um, depending if it's three years old or newer right you have to have uh, the road tax right that's uh, and insurance mm. if the car's over three three years or older it has to have an mot mm. doesn't it you say so 
But anyway, that's really totally irrelevant to your driving. Um, but once you've done it, that's it, you know. Yeah. It's, it's great. You know, you can go in any country and drive, basically, um, with a British driving license. So, it's very busy tonight, isn't it? Yeah. 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 So, here we are. She's got a lovely little Toyota. Eagle. <laughs> What's it called? Aris? No, oh. Ego. Ego, Ego. Yeah, yeah. it's Ego. Ego. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's done very little, very low mileage. So if you want to buy it, it's for sale. <laughs> you poor seller. Well, you can sell it. And she's going to walk. I'm going to walk to work. See, now, you know, I may, you may really, you know, I've said the things I did, but really, did you find it difficult? learning to drive in this country and physically getting through the system and passing your test. Well, it's not, I mean, it's not like hard. Mm. Oh. It's just like, because you got fear, like you got anxiety, like, you know, like you, you have those what ifs and I can't. Mm -hmm. And so that, that what it makes more harder. Mm -hmm. You just need to be mentally ready to do yeah, your yeah, driving yeah. lesson. Yeah. <laughs> That's oh, all yeah. I can say. Just yeah. be mentally ready, yeah, yeah, be yeah. confident and be brave. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. all it is. You had to, did you, no, you can drive without your theory, can't you? But you can't take. Yeah, that's why I was telling you that yeah. you can drive, you can, you can drive without the theory test, mm, as long mm. as you have your driving license. Yes, yeah, yeah. Not yeah, driving but, license. But you can't drive, you can only drive on a provisional license, when, uh, but you must have a fully qualified uh, UK license holder sat in the car with you, yeah. basically. Um, so, you know, that's, that's what you've got to have. You can't just, even if you've got a provisional license, you've got insurance, you can't physically drive the car alone. alone. You've yeah. got to have a qualified driver with you who can teach you to drive. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. But uh, it's quite easy. Especially when you get a good, handsome instructor. <laughs> Thank you. Well, it do good to me, all those shouting. Well, yeah, I realized, you know, it's so funny when I think about it, My when I was learning to drive, it's just like, why did I not do it right before? I was like, it's so... <laughs> it really tickles me thinking about it. <laughs> but it's yeah. all good now so all i can advise to those who want to learn to drive in uk is be confident mm. that's all you have to do mm. because you know sometimes your mind can poison you <laughs> and mm. it is really there is one thing i would like to say she may have done all this driving and succeeded and passing the test but ask her now to check her tyres, <laughs> to check her oil, to check her water. <laughs> she doesn't have a clue. <laughs> no. Tell the truth. Well, some of it I will. If she had to change her wheel, if she got a punch, what would she do? Well, I will call my husband. <laughs> but husband might be out. <laughs> yeah. So that's so, it, really. Yeah. Yeah. So this video, mga palangga, is like a story time or how to apply a provisional license so it's mm. mixed up really yeah 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 but you, just, you can go onto the uh, dvla uh, website and that will give you all the information you need about learning to drive your licenses and everything and what procedures um, because when you actually book your theory test uh, you book it for a certain day and you go and doing how long does it take? One hour was it? Yeah. Yeah, one hour. Yeah, I yeah. think one hour. Yeah, approximately, yeah. approximately around the hour. Um, but you see, if you fail that, you can rebook and take it again. It's not a problem. Yeah. But you must have that before you can physically take your test. So, because it wouldn't allow you to uh, get in the car without it, basically. The what? The theory test? Mm -hmm. No, you, no, you have. Oh. No. When you take your practical test. 
Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. It's the first thing they ask you for is your certificate. You remember? Oh, yeah. I remember. Mm. Yeah, I thought you were talking about you cannot be in the road without the theory. No. So that's why. Right. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. This Thank you for being Still with me. Still got my Tai Chi shirt on. I love you. Love you too, darling. I have a blue shirt with Tai Chi as well. All the way from Panglao, these were. <laughs> Thank you. So that's it for us today, Mama Palanga. <laughs> Say something. <laughs> so that's it for us today, Mama Palanga. Please subscribe, <laughs> like this video, and we'll see each other soon again. Bye. Mwah. Mwah. That's it.